I am Jake. Um, this video talking about anxiety or stress. Um, anxiety, and I have um got major issues on my anxiety. Um, sorry if I sound the right word, but I got major issues on my anxiety. Um, it first happened when I. As a small child, um, um, went to Canberra, um, on one in September in 2001 for a family member's, um, hospital visit. And I, on the 9-11 attacks happened, um, as a child, I, um, when the 9-11 attacks happened, um, I, um, turned on the TV that assumed that, um, have, um, children's cartoons and have, uh, got breaking news about the 9-11 attacks and I trying to remember at the time we um stay in a motel in Canberra at the time and I was seeing the TV only probably um maybe one or two minutes or three minutes I don't know and then my mom trying to turn off because for a small child is is Tranakic and and traumatic, and I think I get PSTD with it. Um, with the exploring the exploring watching the the news report, and on the day itself in the afternoon, I I remember that. Um, my grandmother read, I really love trains and railways and all that. And my grandmother trying to, um, trying to dis, um, trying to dis, um, trying to discuss me to not remember the thoughts on the, TV in the morning, teach colors me and move on to more light-hearted um, things like trains and and looking at um, situations and all that. During my childhood, um, I really love Melbourne as a city and really to see and all that. But during my childhood, after the nine eleven attack. For my hemophilia checkup, um, every six months, I will, I will traumatize with going into the CBD of Melbourne because three four of the um the tall buildings, the tires, the like, like the Toronto building and the Commonwealth Bank building and. And the uh, um um don't know the actual name of the tire um comes um Melbourne Central Shopping Centre and the tire or for the Melbourne Central Shopping Centre um I freak out and I try to avoid um areas where I. I thought that the could have a terrorist attack and I happened a lot during my childhood and number of times where I cannot step foot in the World Children's Hospital in North Melbourne. The Children's Hospital, the old building of it is quite uh, small compared to the other tall building, not the highest building in Melbourne and in the world.
but I am extremely fearful to even walk into the um the building itself and I I become figure and and the hematologist come out and and sometimes have a treatment outside of the um the hospital and I feel extremely nervous even um around the hospital area itself. Partly also a other thing, partly the traumatic um situation as a baby um going to Westmead Children's Hospital and the World Children's Hospital in Melbourne. That even not even that um got pressure on me. Um why I got um some exactly issues um and then um luckily i trying to move on with it um still got problems um with um um alarms and and all that when i living in canberra right now um if a cast alarm happens at the a shopping center like the Balkan in Westfield shopping center. My first thought is um having a ter- terrorist attack happen right now and I freeze and I trying to um trying to move away from the situation. Um, but I think the, um, the thinking, um, brain side, um, override the short term instincts that, that is a task alarm and the announcement is saying this is a task, um, alarm and you must know it trying and also yeah and i think that way over and over and over and over again um it's really hard for me to to be distressful with a alarm even a test alarm but in really odd situation right here um nuni lords have um my old combination have um alarms um setting off the like usually students who bought toast or bought something on the stove and 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 not got a window out to get the um fumes out of the um unit and really odd for me is that the alarms at Nuni Nods not got any reception at all. Only at the external um buildings, um buildings that um visit for shopping or something like that. I got um stress attacks. Um I other thing I have is Alpha the nine eleven um situation I when I left high school um I got um no friends at all and I become extremely freaked out with it and I become got major anxiety um attack and because I am somewhat of an autistic person. I am an autistic person and I really love routine and really love set up plans and other high school. High school is extremely good for people with autism because go to the different classes and, and do the work and 
and all that, but went to TAFE, um, and I become fit at and forming a, a formal, a fear of dying and, and go to the penance and check my pulse right to make sure still alive and all that and keep helping right, um, keep helping multiple times and, um, couple times in my, um, 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 life during TAFE and, and I, when I been in TAFE and, and out of, job out of TAFE, um, still got that feeling of fear of dying and the safe place at that time is, um, um, go to the hospital and, and the hospital treat me because I think that I fear of dying and I fear of could have cancer or tumor or or other disease might have. Um that happened I think yeah that happened is in twenty fifteen and I trying to move away during that time is extremely difficult and I thought it is take extremely um, long take forever um, to break the cycle of of major anxiety attacks um, yeah on 1 2015 2016 um, a other thing is now, um, during that time, a other thing is that, um, I really wanting to move to a bigger place because Pamela is a small country town in, um, south coast of New South Wales and I, I need to have stimulation and I, I have a need to making friends and and joining um clubs and society at a bigger new new a big new university. Um and I I um got that thought also and and got a fear of missing out when I still living in Pamela at that time as well. Um, a other thing is that, um, I, when I left high school, high school is somewhat good. I make, don't know, mostly friends with adults, teachers and teachers aides more or knowing support officers, the title of teacher's aide in New South Wales. Um, and uh, during the TAFE time in early 2015 and then dropped out of TAFE, I think one or two months later, I am extremely wanting to make friends and I really wanting to seek out friends anywhere I possible and Pamela itself um not got any opportunity for longer people um is a retired place on on the south coast of New South Wales and um I uh I got that um stress issue and then I went to the University of Wilgon in the bigger campus and I trying to socialize with the students and I getting a lot better with it and I still got the feeling of missing out of a bigger um, university experience and 
the next year after my mom decided to um and me as well to go to um University of Canberra and have um study out there and I I am during the first week um my mom stay up at um Nini Lords and and that's good. Um but first week I felt extremely comfortable and it's um twenty seventeen twenty seventeen and I got on the taste of again before the coronavirus um allow socializing and allow cause contact with people of course and on the taste and week um feel extremely excited at that time and I joined a lot of clubs um and if and societies and all that and then don't know it happened um I go to a politics club at um the University of Canberra and I go to the regular meetings and all that but I sign up with the pets club and I are the society and my stress levels and when my mum and my sister um went um back to the own home at Pamela I become more nervous and I think I forming a social anxiety and I got with with people with um autism and they got um favorite topics to talk about like for me my special issues in sense is politics and railways mostly focus on domestic politics and more on uh election systems and um how to run a election campaign but i during that time 2017-2018 i become more and more nervous of socializing with people who have different interests other than politics and trains and i get more and more novels and more and more times that I miss events and meet um end of year um events and all that. Um and I getting extremely novels with people who who don't know me quite well and and it is a stressful time um and um in last year um no the year before yeah the year before got issues on um tutors who don't know me as well and uh Christian Christianizing me and I feel somewhat more depressed and I we we draw to back to my unit and I cut down on on going to clubs and society. Um last year um talking about it with my psychologist at the University of Canberra and he's saying that you must go to before the coronavirus happens, I got a weekly um trip on night. A club or a society runs it for each week. A different club and society runs it, and and the psychologist saying if you wanting to be socializing with people and not not be stressed about it, just go to the trip on night and just talk to a group of people and I somewhat freaking out 
I go to um, the same group of people at the politics club and I only stick to it, not branching out to new students who like in the f- who interest in music or interest in um, IT or something like that. And I am um, become extremely nervous and not, I not got any support network who push me to trying to meet new people. And my biggest problem is that my stress and my anxiety shot me to doing um, things that I wanting to do like um, last year and this year um, the Poetry Club of a um, Lake Cruise and I not go because I am extremely stressful and I got so so anxiety with with meeting new people and if they're liking me or not and you know got that major exactly issues I do with um that is my situation with exactly um sorry about a warming um video um see you the next time if I pause a video though. Sorry, I am a bit of, I am a bit overtired today. Um, thank you.